down the street on Fox, my phone rang. My agent goes, go back. You didn't even read. I didn't even read. And they had called my agent and said, we love this guy. <laughs> I went back. And when I went, they didn't even read. Dick. They saw uh, the Cuban egg roll. You know, well, but they were th probably not used to someone with confidence that didn't give a fuck. You know, I went to an audition one time, bro, where the guy had to, I'll never forget this. The guy was a white trash guy. Like this family moved in. It was a pilot for ABC. And this guy uh, is one of those guys that uh, he had a little circular pool in front of his house. And he was he was water and shit, but at the same time he had like a thong on. And he's fat. And he's got jewelry on, like one of those guys in like Long <laughs> Island. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> so I'll never forget. I get to the audition. All these guys are there. Tony Longo, God rest his soul. All these big Italian dudes. And I knew they were going to get the part, bro. I'm like, they're going to get the part. I'm not going to get it. But I had warm-ups on. All right, I had warm-up sign with the string, and I had white, tidy whiteies, and I had a zip-up jacket, and I had a weigh 380. So I walk in, I go, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my pants off. And <laughs> right? I'm taking my fucking sweats off. Dog, I walk in, and what do you think these two ladies say to me? Hold on one second. We'll be bit with you in a minute. So they turn around. That's my cue, bitch. I took those sweatpants off. I took the shoes off and my socks, and I walked closer, and I took my shirt off. When they turned back around, all I had was boxer shorts on, like the tiny whiteies. That's it. Tits hanging out. <laughs> stomach hanging over the underwear. And they, and they did, as soon as they turned around, they were like, oh, my God. They're like, that is terrible. Put your shirt back on. I'm like, I'm not putting on shit, all right? I'm reading this motherfucker how it is. So you were supposed to, like, wave and say good right. morning. Right. And they're like, action. And I'm, and they're like, can't even look at me because I'm completely <laughs> naked. You know? And they can't even look at me. And I'm making believe I'm flipping burgers. And I look over at them and I go, living like a doctor. <laughs> That's it. They booked me. At, when I got to the audition, it's, that was the read. Living like a doctor. They even gave me my own line. Half of those auditions I went into... They gave me whatever line I said in the audition. Like, whatever they said wasn't good enough. Like, I'd go in there with my own fucking line. Uh, yeah, that's that's probably why you got it. Look, look, look at Joey. He's just sitting there, there like a mook the law. That's when you were wearing those big daddy shirts. Yeah, look how big I was. Jesus Christ, you were enormous back then. Those that must have been like, what, 2000 then, right? Yeah, yeah this is 2000, 2002, 2000. I remember when I, when I met you, like right after I met you, I brought you onto the set of news radio. Oh, and they, and they were all like, um, wh who is this guy? With the leather this, jacket on. Is this guy your friend? Like, I got that's Joey. <laughs> 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 you could tell that maybe he could a mingle on the other dog. side. You could talk him into switching governments if he's you got had a to kid and a, dog. and a dog. I know a lot of dudes like that that you look at and you go, <laughs> something right. This guy Every could guy suck out a there dick. Who, with a kid who's walking his dog is like, fuck, am I gay? No, 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 no. Do I want to suck dick? Maybe you have uh, evil fantasies like Rob Halford uh, and Hell Bent for Leather. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Rob Halford's whole evil fantasy. But he was gay as fuck. <laughs> no, that's I'm not a, saying that. I love Bob Halford. Alfred. I love Bob I do Alfred. too. But Sweating. I'm just saying that. You got another thing coming. There's a lot of fucking guys, dog, that you see, that you know. Maybe their dad's still alive and he was a Marine. You can't go <laughs> home and tell. What the fuck does that mean? You can't go home and tell your dad who was a general. Oh, oh, I want to okay. suck dick full time. Uh, I see what you're saying. Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so I you're saying like those while. guys, if your dad was alive and he's a so Marine, you, you want to blow guys. Joe Rogan, you're an intelligent. How many guys do you think are out there right now? We've had this discussion Millions. that are married, whatever, but every once in a while they put a feather suit on. And they go dance like in anything. It's probably more than 10. And that's what <laughs> yeah. we used to, you know, we used to go down yeah. there. We were dumb kids. We figured out we could rob these dudes that were drunk. They come down to get their dick sucked. So we <laughs> sure. banged them. We got the captain of police's son. So we weren't going to go to jail. He was better looking than you. We weren't going to go to jail. We put him out there. We put like a, 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 a guinea t-shirt, you know, those white beaters <laughs> with a little gold chain with a cross <laughs> on it and shit. And the I, ultimate cock thing. And we put him out there on That's Boulevard hilarious. East. And then we hide in the trees. <laughs> and then he'd go, I'll suck your dick. And the guy would park. And then he'd walk him back. And right before I went to get that one knee, I come up with that straight right kick, John Jones to the fucking nutsack. God damn, You Joey. go down. We, we're in the trees.
<laughs> we're hiding in the trees. <laughs> Fuck we fucking shit. fly down from the trees. <laughs> and we just bam, bam, bam. We take your money. We run. We're 16, guys. You know, nobody fucking knows what's right and what's not that. Young. My mother. No. Perfect guy and to rob. Was, Who's that? The I guy's was, not going to the cops. He's not going to the cops. <laughs> and you got to remember, my crew was the third crew on. There was a crew from 64th Street. They were not only robbing you, they were taking you to your house. I had friends that were in high school that actually were getting, were setting you up. Yeah, let's suck your dick. And then they put you back in your car and go to your house and rob you. We were the light crew. We were just going down there peppering you with a few shots and running away with you. So you're getting their dick my, my point about the story was there was one time where, where you. I got beat up. I went down there by myself. You went to, Yeah, you went, I went down, down there. there by myself. I had yeah. the mix minus the eight and a half, and I only won by eight. So I got caught <laughs> by the hook. And I, and I called my buddy, and I go, dog, we lost. And he goes, I'm with my girlfriend. <laughs> But at the time, I was yeah, you want it up. I'm hanging out with my buddies. We're in the back. I go down there. I go down there, dog. I'm from Jersey. They ain't gonna do nothing to me. This dude lit me up. It was. It could have been known as his uncle. <laughs> I'll tell you what I don't like is these fucking COVID tests. The one with the nose. Mm. Oh, like, my God. What a weird feeling. You know, here's the funny thing. Like, I did it, but I got the blood. I, I didn't try to listen. Let me explain something to you. You don't want to put a cotton swab in my nose, dog. Right, what happens? I got angel dust, coke, <laughs> THC crystal, animal tranquilizers, asshole dust, fucking pubic hairs. I smelled Newark in the summer. What happened? I smelled coke, heroin, fucking. Are you kidding me? When they did my nose, asshole dust. I remember, oh, asshole dust. You look, open up an asshole, a little bit of dust comes out. Nobody knows nothing. You just take it like a man. Tomb. Like, you know, I remember when I woke up, Dr. Line was jizzling my nose, and the sparks were coming out of my nose and shit. I got, it's still, I still got coke rocks in those glands in there. So you stick a cotton swab in there, and they're going to fuck it up, because you know they're making mistakes, right? So some grandmother's going to go, you know, some grandmother's going to go, you didn't test positive for COVID, but you, get, you need treatment. Like, you need help. You got like 10 kilos in your fucking nose. <laughs> Who would go for that fucking stupid test and wait online oh and sit God. for 10 hours with 80 fucking thousand people? Well, the new one, they barely go inside your nose. They just go, they used to have to go deep up into your nose, but now they just go into the opening. It's not that bad. The new one's not that bad. It's like, you ever thought about this? We've never discussed this. This young generation, no, no dick. And I did the fucking research. Uh, what are you talking about? Right, that weed we just smoked. Don't do shit to me. If you make me drive 40 minutes up, you got to get me stoned, bro. That Susquehanna weed, I've been telling you about that shit. Susquehanna? Yeah, you brought that shit to the ice house, too. That shit don't do nothing to you. Uh, you're so crazy. It's you, true. You need to go to a doctor. What the fuck, dog? You, you got to go get some strong you need to go fucking to a weed, doctor. guy. What are you talking that about? That shit don't it do nothing strong. to you, dog. You got to bust out some good weed, dog. <sighs> Enough is enough with this shit. Joey, what the it's fuck? the you best, around like Jack it's the best and you weed you can buy. Weed. No, it's not. Look at my fucking eyes. Do I look high to you, guy? Yeah, That's you look high as fuck. Because I, I smoke on the way. Because I knew you were going to give me that Susquehanna fucking weed. Joey. You, you better get, start getting some good fucking you weed. You gave him dog. that Hannah Montana weed. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's a shit fuck fucking you weed you give me. That's the second time in a fucking row. Yo, dude, you just smoked train wreck. That was garbage. They sold you on it. Look at my eyes. That's so crazy. That's garbage. You better start getting some strong fucking weed or go to a different Story. Relax. I love you, though. Relax. I love you, too. I love you. You got to go to a doctor. Damn. You always you, hit me with broken. this badass weed, and then you you're talk broken. shit, and you got stung. How the fuck are you smoking? Look at me. What broken? Joey, what fucking broken? What you, you hit me with this what are you talking terrible about? weed. Let's do this, bro. We're here, motherfuckers. Bri Brian, hold on. Brian, how high are you right now? Uh, bro, he high gets high on a fuck, fucking right? toenail. Are you high as fuck? High as fuck. Look at him. How if he was you? high as fuck, he'd dial an ambulance. Joey, Joey, Joey please the, the, relax. The, the biggest thing was that it was a tightly rolled joint. Right. And, and he's used to Come on, huge guy. power hits where he's just feels like in his lungs. You are. You're, you like big hits. No, I, didn't, like, I couldn't like, get a hit off it. It yeah. was too fucking tight. <laughs> Okay, you Joey, Joey, you're fucking screaming at America listening to you. Who you gives a fuck? Enough. They need to I know. I give a fuck. This Joey is not saying that you're high and you give me that stuff. Oh, my God. Listen, my favorite game that I ever bet in my life, you were a kid. But one of the biggest games I ever bet in high school, I put everything I had. I borrowed money. I bet money I didn't have. Dallas Cowboys played the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC and division finals. The 49ers was 16 and 1. I know that there's a lot of people that are football people out there, and you're like, Joey, you're wrong. Maybe they were. They lost one game. Who did mm -hmm. San Francisco lose to when 
when Snowy Jerry was thrown every year. New Orleans would always beat the fuck out of them at home or away. When San Francisco was on the top of that game, they could not beat the New Orleans Saints. The New Orleans Saints beat them. They go into the NFC playoff with the Cowboys. Guess what? I'm at a fucking bar doing blow. I'm 18 years old. <laughs> and I, it dawned on me at this bar. I go, wait a second. What you mean to tell me is that the Dallas Cowboys are going into candlestick and they're going to try to tell Snowy Joey and those fucking savages a story. That's when they had Dwight the nickel. Snowy Joey. That's when they had that nickel fucking defense with Ron Lott, who Ooh. his finger was broken. And they Pinky asked him at half time off, and he son. cut it off. Yeah. You're dealing with people who would cut off their fucking pinkies. Are you Japanese? I'm Korean. Okay. <laughs> Japanese people, they cut their that. fucking pinkies off. Yeah. Like when they fuck up, you like, you fucked up. You Dishonored. Put the, dishonor. They cut yeah. their pinky off. A brother cut his pinky off during a fucking game. And you're going to look me in the face and tell me that the Dallas Cowboys are going to go into their field and beat them by one. Not and I remember there was a kid who hated me. He's dead now, Anthony Kruger. He died? He, yeah, he accused me of robbing his house, an eight ball from his house. I never robbed him. Fuck him. <laughs> no. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck. He's dead, bro. He's dead. Fuck him. Let him roast in hell for selling blow. Man. So he fucking, he, he was a big Doc Cowboy fan. And he kept trying to, like, he was a tough kid. And he kept going, what if the Cowboys win? Can I beat the fuck out of you? And this kid was, it's like Brendan saying this to me and I want to beat you up oh he hated me but he couldn't touch me because I had juice behind me in those days yeah he couldn't just come and throw a beating on me because he had yeah. 16 motherfuckers behind so I said to him let me ask this is how fucked up I was I go let me ask you this what if San Francisco beats him can I come to your house and punch you in the fucking face <laughs> that's how ballsy I was that night because right there in dawn on me that San Francisco was going to beat the Cowboys at home they were not going to go in and cover one and what happened that game that's the most famous catch in football. Yeah. Dwight Clark, Clark reached out, and I had the, the over. Catch. And I had the over What's in Dallas. What's up, son? What's up, son? <laughs> so then did you go punch that dude in the face? Oh, no. I didn't see him after that oh, for you a were long good. time. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea what I've gone through in my life. From the fist fights to the arguments to the beatings. I still remember my mother taking me into a restaurant bathroom and holding me in a... What's that when they... Headlock? Fought? Guillotine? The other one, guillotine. And she's and punching you? No. She shot you up? Yeah. With what? what? Penicillin. Oh, my God. Because I, my, I, when I was a kid, I was so sick. She got you in a headlock and shot you up. Penicillin. Listen to me. <laughs> Where'd the needle Listen go? To Listen to me. On top of his head? Cubans. <laughs> we had, I had a Cuban doctor, a, do, a doctor, Orlando Del Valle. Oh he made house God. calls, okay? Ugh. He came over. He would come into the room, and this is very funny because I'm going to tell you how fucking hysterical heretics is. Hereditary shit is crazy. <laughs> Your kids get what you got. Now, he would come over. Now, Dr. Del Valle did a bump from time to time. Now, this is. <laughs> Your I'm, talking about, I'm talking about 1968. Doctor? 69, please. A bump? This goes on. <sighs> Him, uh, when he come over, I lived on 205 West 88th Street. He'd bring the little thing, and him and my mom would talk, and my stepdad, and then somebody else would be there, like a chick that would help my mom, and sure enough, he would come over, put the mom in my ass, and then look at me and say, Jose Antonio, I have to give you a needle. And i go, give me five minutes, let me think about it. And he, and my mom would go, what's going on? He has to think about it. I swear to God, you don't take that needle, I'll fucking kill you. So then they would go in the fucking parlor to put on Cuban music, and I would like put cartoons on, like it was another ever evitable. And then then he would he would have like two drinks. Like how old are you during this time? I'm five, six. <laughs> he would have two drinks.